Welcome. So what I have in this example is x is greater than 5. And what I want to do is show you how to um, graph this. So the main important thing is you know, we need to understand, first of all, we have a number line. And the number line is just going to be set of all of our whole numbers. Um, I'm sorry, actually all of our integers that go all the way to negative infinity and all the way to positive infinity. So what they're saying is, what would, how can we graph x with this little inequality symbol, which means greater than 5? So remember, x represents any number, right? It can represent any different quantity. So I'm looking at when, what numbers that are greater than 5. So this is what we call the greater than symbol. And what it just means is all numbers greater than. So you just think, you know, what numbers, when we look on this number line, what numbers are greater than 5? Well, if you have 6 of something, we know that's greater than having 5 of something. 7 is greater than, and 8 is greater than. However, 0 is not greater than, right? That's less than. The same thing with like a negative number. If you owe something negative, that's going to be less than having 5 of something. So what about though? So what I like to do is I always like to do a test point, all right? And we're going to kind of pick three different test points. So the first thing is I can pick 1 greater than 5. Let's pretend x equals 1. Well, is 1 greater than 5? That's false, right? How about the number 5? Is 5 greater than 5? Well, that's false as well because 5 is equal to 5. And then let's pick 7. Is 7 greater than 5? And that ends up being true. So what we have is when we have a false statement and then a false statement at the point, but then a true statement. So since it's false at 5, uh, we're still going to start at 5, but what we're going to have is what we'll call an open circle. Because at the point 5, that is not a part of our answer, right? 5 is not make, does not make this true. However, all the numbers to the right going on to infinity do make this problem true. So therefore, we will graph with a line that's going to go to infinity for all numbers in that direction are always going to be greater than 5. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.